side angle side triangle construction. With the compass I have two segments I'm going to use and an angle. And it's important to note that that angle, those are rays, that's not the length of anything, that's just the measure of an angle. But I'm going to measure the length of the first segment. I choose the red one, the longest one, and down below on my baseline I'm going to copy the red segment. Copy a segment construction. And now I have the red segment is done. Next I'm going to do copy an angle. So I go to the green angle and I'm going to do the copy an angle construction. Swing an arc that goes across both of the rays. Don't change the compass, bring it over and make sure it's exactly the same. I'm going to start at that point there and swing the exact same arc. Now I have two arcs that are the same from, uh, from some points and I need to go to the first one and measure the gap. From there to the other side is how far. So I use my compass to measure the gap. Take time to really set this up well because just a little bit off is going to make a big change. So I'll draw a little line there too just to make sure it looks good. Bring it over and set it up there in the arc. And I swing a little, little mark there and I see my X. I have two points, the end point and the X, to draw my ray. Again, this is a ray. I don't know how long that side is. This is just an angle that I've copied. I've got a side and an angle, but I don't know how long that second side is yet until I go up. Don't use that mark. I need to go up to the blue segment. Find the length of the blue segment. Now from the vertex, I'm going to copy the blue segment on the other ray. Copy a segment. You're going to have a lot of marks on your constructions and you got to keep them straight on what you're doing and when you're doing them. So be very, very orderly. You're not going to have colored pens I wouldn't think like I have here. That is exactly the length of segment, uh, the blue segment. I have a side, an angle, and a side. I know where the endpoints of the segments are, so now I can connect those two endpoints to find out where the third side is. This is the only triangle possible using those two segments and that angle, side angle side.